Amber has learned that losing the defamation trial did not surprise anyone. Due to the fraudulent testimony and the evidence she presented in court, many individuals were sure that she would surely lose the trial. However, why did Amber lose the trial? Amber's first blender occurred much before her testimony. Before either of the stars even took the stand, viewers watching the televised defamation trial were discussing it in detail during the opening statement. Heard's attorney Elaine Bredahop stated that the actress concealed her injuries with makeup during her connection with Depp. This is what Amber carried in her purse throughout the duration of her relationship with Johnny, Bredahop claimed, holding up a makeup palette. In response to the statement, Milani Cosmetics produced a video on TikTok stating that its concealing flawless all-in-one correction kit was not available during Heard's and Depp's relationship, which lasted from 2012 to 2016. You requested, let the record show, that we debuted our correction kit in 2017, Milani's caption appeared on the video quickly and it gained millions of views and went viral. It was also cited as evidence of a falsehood across social media. Note, the claimed abuse occurred in 2014 and 2016, and the couple split in 2016. The release date for the cosmetics palette was December 2017. View the additional text to the video. While lying about makeup that did not exist at the time of the incident was a very audacious effort by Amber's team, it failed miserably. One internet user responded to the news at the time, saying, Milani Cosmetics is going out of its way to prove Amber Heard literally lied in court about using their product to cover bruises because it came out years after her abuse from Johnny Depp. I'm in a state of shock. Meanwhile, Amber Heard lied on the first day of her testimony, May 4th, when she recounted an incident in which Depp reportedly held his dog out the window of a moving automobile, causing everyone in the car to break. As she took the stand, nobody responded to her words. I too was conflicted as to what I should do about hearing that she didn't want to provoke Depp's reaction or abandon the Yorkie named Boo. She characterized the situation as eerie. She was eventually able to pull his arms back inside the car and secure the dog in the seat. According to reports, since her testimony, video footage of her smiling while holding a tiny dog via the open window of a moving vehicle has been published on TikTok. This depiction was so obvious that even Amber's fans began calling her out immediately. A fan added, Amber Heard also claimed that Johnny Depp threw their dog out of a moving car window. Determine for yourself the truth. Consider whether someone might simply lie to condemn their ex or anything they did. How much of a mistreatment of Johnny Depp does she attribute to him? During the trial, Heard's legal team presented many photographic images of alleged depth caused injuries on her face and torso. One set of photographs in particular drew widespread attention since Depp's team claimed that Heard had altered a photograph to make her injury appear more severe. Heard said that they were two independent photographs taken with and without light. In the final week of the hearing, Depp's team questioned a metadata specialist on Norboard. According to Brian Neumeister, all three files have to undergo some type of alteration in order to adjust their size. According to Neumeister, certain images demonstrated that the file software did not originate from an iPhone, but rather from an editing program. According to legal experts, one statement uttered by her in court is what most likely cost her the entire case in the final week of the trial. I know so many people will come out and say whatever they want for him. This is a strength. This is why I wrote the editorial. I was referring to that phenomenon. In that sentence, it is indicated that she penned the op-ed on Depp. She admitted to defaming Johnny and the editorial. I mean, could it really be any clearer? Previously, Kate Moss would not have been permitted to testify because her evidence was deemed irrelevant. However, a five-word slip opened the door for her to testify. This occurred while Heard was telling the jury about a confrontation she had with Depp in March 2015. Heard explained that she punched the Pirates of the Caribbean actor in the face because she was worried that he would shove her sister Whitney down the stairs. The Moss reference was significant, at least for Johnny. It pertained to a rumor that Depp pushed Moss down the stairs when the couple dated. In response, a lawyer on Depp's team fist pumped in what was confirmed as a congratulatory acknowledgement. This error created the door for Depp's team to potentially call Moss as an impeachment witness when Kate Moss was mentioned. Mitra Ahorian, a California entertainment attorney, told Page Six that Moss was subsequently called to testify and she denied Johnny ever having been abusive towards her in her quick video testimonial. She told the Fairfax County, Virginia jury that she remembered falling down the steps at a Jamaican resort during their relationship which lasted from 1994 to 1998. There had been a thunderstorm and as she left her room, she went down the stairs and injured her back, Moss said. He came running back to help me, took me to my room, and arranged for medical care. He never shoved, kick or threw me down any flight of stairs. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned.